Hey guys, welcome back to a new YouTube video by Biology with Sangshuan. So today we are going to start off with the Cambridge ITCSC Biology Paper 3 Theory, the core paper for examination from 2023. So if there are any questions, please write down in the comments below and I will try to rectify as soon as possible. So let's start off with the first question. Figure 1.1 is a photograph of a lion. A. Lions are mammals and have the scientific name Panthera Leo. State one feature visible in figure 1.1 that identifies the lion as a mammal. So it has to be visible from figure 1.1 and probably the most obvious feature you can see is the uh, fur or the hair. Part 2. State the genus of this mammal. So you can see that the scientific name is given here. Genus is this one and species is this. So they just want a genus would be Panthera. B. Mammals are one of the five groups of vertebrates. Some features of three vertebrate groups are listed. Identify the vertebrate group. So lay soft shell egg would be reptiles. Feathers are birds. Smooth and moist skins are amphibians. C. Figure 1.2 is a diagram of an animal cell. Part 1. Identify the parts labeled A, B, and C in figure 1.2. So A is the cytoplasm. B is the cell membrane. C is the nucleus. Part 2. State the names of two structures in plant cells that are absent in animal cells. Cell wall, chloroplast, or maybe vacuole. Okay? Part 3. State the name of one structure that is present in bacterial cell and in plant cells but absent in animal cells. So anything uh, which is the cell wall. D. Some cells are specialized to perform a particular function. The boxes on the left shows the name of some specialized cells. The function of some specialized cells are in the boxes on the right. Draw four lines to link each specialized cell with its function. One line has been drawn for you. Draw four additional lines. So ciliated cells is for the movement of mucus. A neuron is for the conduction of impulses. Palisade mesophyll cell is for photosynthesis. Root hair cell is for absorption of water. Question 2a. A student performed different types of activity. She measured her heart rate during each type of activity in beats per minute BPM. The results are shown in figure 2.1. Part 1. State the type of activity that results in the highest heart rate in figure 2.1, which is actually running. You can see this is the highest. State the heart rate of the student when she was cycling. So cycling is about 125. Okay. Part 3. Calculate the percentage increase in the heart rate between resting and walking. So it will be final minus initial over initial times 100. So in this, in this case, it will be 50%. D. Measuring the pulse rate of what is one way of monitoring the activity of the heart. State one other way of monitoring the activity of the heart. The most simplest one is ECG. C. Breathing is also affected by exercise. Describe the effects of exercise on breathing. Both the breathing rate and the breathing depth will increase, okay? D. Aerobic respiration increases during exercise. State the name of the gas required for aerobic respiration, which will be oxygen. Part 2. State where aerobic respiration occurs in a cell, the mitochondria. E. Anaerobic respiration can occur when exercising vigorously. State the word equation for the anaerobic respiration in muscle cell, which is from glucose to lactic acid. Part 2. State one advantage of using aerobic rather than anaerobic respiration in humans. It's One of it is it releases more ATP or energy per glucose molecule. Okay, that is the answer. Question 3. Figure 3.1 shows a goat with white fur. Fur color is inherited in goats. The allele for white fur is represented by A. The allele for black fur is represented by the smaller A. Each goat is identified by the numbers 1 to 8 in figure 3.2. So figure 3.2 shows the diagram of the inheritance of fur color in a herd of goats. So A part 1 state the number of goats in figure 3.2 have white fur. So this would be 1, 2, 3... White fur. Oh, sorry, white fur. One, two, three, four, five. So there's five in total. Part two. State the phenotype of goat five. Goat five is black fur because it's a homozygous for black fur. Okay, circle two terms that can be used to describe genotype of goat six. So goat six is 
uh, white fur. So you can see it's the same uh, alphabet which is called as homozygous dominant. B. State the type of variation shown by fur color in these goats. So fur color is passed down through uh, genetic and by inheritance. So it should be a discontinuous variation. C. A farmer identified two goats to breed together. The genotype of the male goat is capital A and small a. The genotype of the female goat is also capital A, smaller a. So you just do the cross and you should get a 3 to 1 ratio. D. A farmer has a group of goats. Some have white fur and some have black fur. Describe how the farmer can use selective breeding to produce a group of goats that only have white fur. So what they can do is by crossing or breeding two white goats. And then they will select the offspring with the white color fur allele, which is shown by the offspring, and breed them again for many, many generations to come. Question 4a. Figure 4.1 is a diagram of a very variegated leaf from a plant. The plant was exposed to sunlight so that it could photosynthesize. A student tested the leaf for starch and found that starch was present in the green part of the leaf. There was no starch in the white part of the leaf. Explain the result of this test. So, with chlorophyll present in the leaf, right, it's needed to absorb the light and also to undergo photosynthesis. So, the green part only shows the presence of chlorophyll, the white part doesn't show anything. So, the chlorophyll is required to also make glucose. B. Water is required for the process of photosynthesis. Part 1. Describe where and how water enters a plant. So the water enters a plant into the roots by the root hair cells by osmosis by going across the partially permeable membrane. Part 2. Describe one function of water in a plant other than for photosynthesis, so also for transporting the mineral ions. Part 3. State the name of the tissue in a plant that transports water, xyla. Part 4, state the name of the part of a leaf through which most water vapor is lost from the plant, which is the stomata. Question 5, figure 5.1 shows a diagram of a part of a male reproductive system. A, state the letter on the figure 5.1 that identifies where sperm is made. So sperm is made in C, this is the testis. The part that carries the urine and the sperm out of the body is this one. Okay, this is the penis basically, and where the fluid that is added to the sperm is made in the, uh, I think this is the pituitary glands or the, uh, what's that called, the prostate, I think. Mm. B. Sperm must pass through different structures in the female reproductive system to reach an egg cell. State the name of these three of these structures, so cervix, vagina, and the uterus. C. Say three ways that the sperm are adapted for their function. They have a flagellum, they have an acrosome containing the enzymes, and many mitochondria. D. Sperm contains chromosome. Chromosome contains genes. State all the possible sex chromosomes that normal sperm can contain. It's either X or Y. Part 2. Complete the definition of the term gene. So a gene is a length of DNA that codes for a protein. Okay. Question 6. A. The effect of temperature on the enzyme activity was investigated. The result was shown in figure 6. So you can this, this is a graph shown. So 1. State the optimum temperature for the enzyme in figure 6.1. So just look at the peak. Here is about, you can see, it's about 32.5. Okay. State, <clears throat> why is there no enzyme activity at 60 degrees? Because the enzyme has already <coughs> denatured. B. State one factor other than temperature that affects enzyme activity. pH. Okay. C. Table 6.1 shows some large insoluble molecules, some digestive enzyme and some smaller soluble molecules that are produced during digestion. So fat is by the enzyme lipase and they will form fatty acid and glycerol. Protein is from the enzyme protease and they will form amino acids. D. List the chemical elements in fats, CHO, which is carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. E. State where in the digestive system is protease is secreted. is by the stomach. Question 7. A. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. State the name of one other greenhouse gas, which is methane. B. Deforestation can cause an increase in the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. State three other undesirable effects of deforestation. There's a lot, a lot of effects. So I just give three, which is extinction, loss of habitat, and
flooding. C. Figure 7.1 shows a simple food web. Okay, so part one, table 7.1 shows some of the terms that can be used to describe the organism in the food web in figure 7.1. Place ticks in the box to show the terms that can be used to describe each organism. So corn plant will be a producer, okay, which is shown here. The grasshopper and the vole is the herbivore, and the secondary consumer is primary consumer, secondary consumer, primary consumer, secondary consumer is either the snake or the hawk. So part four, state the name term used to describe an organism that gets its energy from dead or waste organic material is from decomposers. Part five, state the principal source of energy for food webs is by the sun. Okay, so that is the end of the paper. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in